Okay, here's my attempt to add a video tutorial. Uh, first, open the two label shapes and start by ungrouping. I'll right click and ungroup and get rid of the shapes I do not want. Then I want to create um, an offset around this shape. So I select it, open the offset window, choose offset, corner is already selected, and then I'll reduce this, the distance of the offset down to .070 and click apply. Now if I select that outside shape is still selected and select the line right next to it and right click and convert it or make a compound path those two outer edges become one shape and if you open the fill color window and choose a color you can see that it does become one shape and then the dots are filled in also which is exactly the look I want. Now I don't want this to cut anything in this shape that is selected so I'm going to go up to the open cut style window and choose no cut. Now I'll grab both shapes and open the align window and click center. And if I select them all, right click and group. It's all now one shape. And if you click on the scissors, the cut style, you can see that the, dark, the red is showing the cut line and that's exactly what I want. I only want to cut out that outside shape. Now to, uh, to print on the 8x10 paper, I'm going to change my page size to letter 8.5 by 11. And since we're going to be printing, I want to turn on the registration marks. And what I always do is make these smaller so I can get as many on the page as possible. I'm going to reduce this to about 10. There we go. I can fit eight of these on a page if I rotate them. So I'm going to go up to the rotate. window and click 90. Put this as far over as I can without touching either the red line or the registration marks. And then I'll open the replicate window and duplicate this across the top. Now you can see it does go over the red line, but we'll take care of that. I'm going to select all four shapes and duplicate them below and then that's how I get eight of them. Now to get this to fit I select them all and grab the handle the double arrow and resize this all to fit within the registration marks. And I'll select them all again and get this spaced out Good. Now to create the actual um, labels, what I did was I drew a rectangle within one of the shapes just so I could get an idea of the size um, so my word would fit within each label. So that looks good. And so that is still selected. I'm going to rotate that 90 so that it's just easier to type straight across than up and down. 
and choosing my text tool, I will type, let's say this one's paint, craft supply. And so this rectangle is just serving as a guide as to how big my letters can be and still fit within my label. And that's still chosen. I'm going to fill that with black and then rotate it again and drag it over into one of my labels. And center it in there. And then you just keep going, creating more labels. Oh, let's see what else. How about glitter? We all have glitter. It's going to be a little too big, so I'll just resize that to fit within that rectangle. And rotate it again. drag it over. I can refill it here. I can fill it with color here. And there you go. You just fill up the rest of them with whatever words you want to, whatever you're making labels for, and you'll print that and cut it.